Alright, so this is going to be a video where I take you guys um, inside a live game of Weekend League and basically tell you guys what I do on and how I make my adjustments and what type of opponent I'm playing. So, um, I don't have any... My X factors on offense are um, Kevin Mawai... Bo Jackson and Lamar, and my defensive X factors are Brian Burns, Lawrence Taylor, and then Calvin Johnson on defense. Um, the reason why is because I've been experimenting with a lot of things, especially when the new offensive linemen came out. Um, I thought running the ball and establishing a run game will make me um, throw better passes and for my opponent not to play coverage so much so um, obviously you know when you can run the ball um, take your yards but just be mindful that it could get blown up and you could have some consequences coming your way but we'll see what happens but we'll just wait till um, we get into a game all right here we go Tyreek Hill. Um, for this whole game, I'm most likely just going to stay in 3-4. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to stay in 3-4 odd. So, obviously you want your best players out on the defensive line. Um, basically what I'm doing is finding the guys on the edge with speed. And he's in strong close, so most likely he's going to run the ball. And if you need time, go click that pause button um, and give yourself more time because you don't want to give up a big run first play just because you couldn't have your adjustments set up. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Most likely he's going to run the ball. Uh, I forgot to change my coaching just suggestions, but that's okay. We're there. So... Now I want to go back to my coaching adjustments. You want to go to baseline, and you want to go to play ball. Um, what this allows you to do is basically put in a position where all of your players are being one-on-ones, and no players are um, basically handled by two players at a time. So right here, I have, a, I have the middle guarded, so he can only throw that route. Um, Clowney doesn't really play that route too well, but it's just he's just there just to make a tackle. So if he actually wanted to throw that a little bit early, he would have had a couple yards. But I'm willing to give that up just so he can't go uh, beat me deep. And I think I left my quarter here, but he's just gonna grab a safety right here. Um, bad read on him. He knows I'm sending five and. He just quit, so that's game one, guys. All right, on to game two. Um, I have played this guy before. I don't remember what he's running. But again, we're sticking in 3-4 odd on defense, and then we're most likely going to be in single back, wing stack, or tight offset. Maybe sometimes fly off trio. And if he doesn't have any uh, D-line abilities, we'll go to gun empty Y Saint. But we'll see what happens. Um, we're starting off a defense, so obviously, like I said, make your adjustments. Um, give yourself enough time. So right here, I'm trying to do this fast. here there we go I knew he was trying to go for that Moss 100 so what I did there was I blitzed Lawrence Taylor um, not Lawrence Taylor sorry um, night train 
and I was able to get that off. But it's a risky play, but he only sent out two routes, so it wasn't hard to guard. And right here, he wants to be in tight slots, which is okay. Any shotgun formation, I'm very comfortable playing. Um, I haven't really had trouble with this at all. So it's just when he rolls out, it can be a little bit dangerous, but I couldn't lurk that. Wow. Um, so a bit of a risky read by him. My user was right there and I waited, um, but he was able to get it off. So kudos to him. It's just not going to happen very often. So this is some things you're just going to have to live with in this game. So right there, you want to click on to make a tackle. Um, you don't click on. Bo's gone for six. That's Madden 20 this year. So, yeah. Okay, right here. There we go. Scream at him. Perfect. So, right there, um, I knew he was kind of throw. He was going to throw, but, like, I had to take my chances. So, he wants to be in bunch. And we're going back to this um, edge blitz right here. Anytime you face a shotgun formation, you want to send as much pressure as you can. Uh, deep half. And we're just going to... There we go. Um, and that's going to be game, most likely, because I don't think he can come back from this. So yeah. So, shotgun formations, you want to send as much pressure as you can. Um, use it to free safety, someone with Lurker preferably. And you want to play the sticks. Um, the only thing you got to worry about is rollouts. So, try to stay in between the middle of the field. So, like, if, someone, if he's passing, like, 40 yards down the field, stay within, like, that 20 range. Where if he decides to take off with his quarterback... You can go and get him, so he gets a minimal minimal gain. So just remember that. Um, we'll hop into one more, and I'll be with you when the game starts. All right, start another game, and this is probably going to be the last one. I don't know how long he decides to stay, but I don't predict he'll stay too long. He might, but. Um, I think I played him yesterday. I think I won both times. Yeah, I, I think I did, because I didn't lose any games yesterday. I only lost one game today. But anyways, um, so I guess I'm starting on offense this game. Um, nice. That's the thing. You guys have been watching me play, but I haven't played a single drop of offense yet. So. Um, I don't want to give up the ball first possession. It'd be tragic. So, substitutions. You always want to set in one of your um, your tight ends as a fullback that can catch. So, Okoye and Frankel meet that uh, criteria. But anybody else that has a really good catch radius, like Juice Chick, is really good as well. Um, so I'm just going to run stretch here. I don't believe he can stop this. Yeah. And then we're gone. So. Uh, he's in that pinch buck press coverage. And then we're going to full him. That we're going this way. Um, right here. Perfect. Okay, that was really bad, actually. So, right there, bad play by me. I paid for it. Um, sub in Adrian Peterson. After two runs, guys, you always want to sub in your um, other halfback. Only because fatigue is real in this game. And if you don't, you're going to pay the price for it. So... Right there, I was able to get seven yards. Uh, I wanted a quick huddle, but that's okay. Right here. And we're 
we're just gonna go in. Give me a stiff arm. Okay. So that's two rushes. And now you want to sub in your running back. So sub in to Bo. Right now. I ran through the wrong hole. Um that's kind of my fault. I was still able to gain two yards, so I'm not really upset about it. Um, I wish I could have had more, but that's okay. Uh, I need to stop playing around with human joystick. That's really dangerous. All right. So now we have established a run game, and now we can pass. Right here, he's gonna give me a touchdown. I don't know what he's doing, but a corner route right there. Um, I thought he was in man coverage. He literally was blitzing everybody, so um, corner routes, post routes, um, and drags beat man coverage and zigs. In routes and out routes sometimes do, but it depends. Um, so I knew I was gonna be able to get that corner route, and I hot routed him, gave myself enough time, and we're in a good field position right now. So right now we're just going to play defense. Um, I don't remember if he can ever move the ball on me because the last game I played, I don't think he scored anything. His connection is also very bad. By the way, if you guys are experiencing lag and you're not on your own home field, that's because it's the other person's connection that you're playing who's lagging. I knew a lot of people that um, have asked me in game, like why my connection is bad, but it was actually theirs. So just remember that, you know. All right, he's gonna be in that. Okay. Oh my gosh. I went to go lurk that and Bosworth overcommitted. Good job, Boz. I think this kid ran a um, cover four drop the last time I played him. And then once I got him out of it, he like he didn't like he didn't know what to do at all. So right here, I'm looking, he's going to throw that, and Ramsey can't get a tackle, so I'm going to have to play hard flat on that. Okay, cool. Now I know. So Ramsey and a hard flat, now you see my coverage. Night Train's still on a soft um, squat, but he's on a hard flat, so if he decides to throw that route again, it's getting lurked. And we're going for six, so... Um, a lot of times in Weekend League, you want to hold the ball as long as you can. Because if you... Say like you're up 7 points, and you you know your opponent is really bad, like this one right here. Holding the ball makes your life so much easier. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. I've lost games where I decided to try certain things in Weekend League that I wasn't supposed to be trying. Like I was trying some new route combos and stuff like that. And then I lost to someone just like this, believe it or not. And, you know, it was frustrating, but you know, holding the, onto the ball, when you want to try something, always do it in head to head. Do not do it in weekend league unless you're hundred percent sure that the play that you try works. That's a terrible pass. But Calvin didn't want to pick it. So if he... Yeah, I don't think he's going for this. So now I have the I have control. Um, I'm literally going to chew clock. I'm not going to take any more chances than I don't have to. You know, so... Cover four. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay. So that's a hit stick I don't want to take. Perfect. Now I know. Okay, time to recycle my running backs. Perfect. Catch that. Thank you. So, it's very important in a run formation that you have plays that you can pass out of. Um, right there, I knew he was in cover too because he never wanted to get out of it. And he didn't, so I had a cover two beater. And it worked. Um, but if I didn't have a cover two beater, he'd probably switch up his coverage. Like right now, he switched up to cover four because he thought I was going to try that again. Um, but you want to have multiple routes where you can um, make your opponent guess. So that's what I'm trying to say. Right here. Okay. Or Lamar just doesn't want to snap the ball. Cool. Go, Pete. Okay. So he's calling timeouts because he knows I'm trying to chew this clock. Um, I would probably... Nah, I wouldn't call timeouts this early. Because the two-minute warning is right around the corner, so... Um, he can do that. I thought I had that stiff arm. But I basically, right now, I'm just trying to stay in bounds. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay, he's in a compressed set. Oh my gosh, Bo. Okay, so I gotta go back to single back, wing stack, wing U. And I do not want my full back here. Um, I'll take Walter Jones right there. Perfect. So, I'm in field goal range, um, but I don't want to pass in a third and two, only because if I do pass, I could, you know, lose my field position, right? So, I'm basically going to stall this clock out. Now, most of you guys know I like to pass the ball, but I've learned this year in Madden, especially for Madden 20, passing the ball doesn't have many benefits. And I may be saying that, and you might, you guys might think I've converted to a runner, which is not true, because I still enjoy running the, the ball, I mean, passing the ball every snap. So, so right here, third and 14, I'm going to go for it because I don't believe this guy's defense can stop me. I, I, I truly don't believe that. And if he does, he does, but I don't think he can. Okay. Okay, maybe he can. So, that was a bad example right there. I'm out of field goal range right now. And we only got 12 seconds left, so... Um, I gotta make something that will make him bite. So now he's in this coverage. All right, but this might not get me a first, and I'm okay with that because I think deep down I can get him at this. Or not. But uh, on fourth and long, and when there's a low shock, um, load clock, you want to be able to minimize your opponent's chances of scoring. 
So you want to make it as difficult as it, is, as it is for him. And just keep focusing on what you can do better. Um, obviously that drive didn't go the way that I wanted to go. Um, I should have just kept running the ball even though I was getting blown up. But, you know, I paid for it. And, yeah. So I think he... See, that's exactly why I don't want to give him any time. Because now he got momentum his way. EA thinks it's funny. Um, there's a lot of crazy things going on. But that's okay. So, scores even up. He gets the ball now, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, he got a lucky catch right there. Jalen Ramsey was on him. Didn't want to jump for some reason. Um... Don't know why. His golden ticket. I got all the things in my head. So I'm going back to Pinch Dog 2 press. Because I don't think he can stop this defense. There we go. Throwing streaks right at uh, Calvin Johnson. Good job, man. Flat. There we go. Make a tackle, Ramsey. Perfect. Um, so Rogers has a quick release, by the way. I'm sure most of you guys that play might know this. So. You can shoot clock. I'm gonna get the, this ball back. And he caught it. Okay. So, I'm on Bo. Um, if he wants to go for a streak, he'll probably win that battle. Mostly people don't. Grab the ball, please. And he's on aggressive, too. Because I don't even think that you would fumble right there. I really don't. But he must be on aggressive. And he doesn't realize it, so we're just gonna have to take advantage of that. So, right here, I'm just waiting for him to snap this ball. Um, I think this possession, I'm just gonna pass. I mean, if he wants to do that, he can. I guess it works. wants to hike and throw so that's okay too there we go lurked him um Bosworth gets stuck in the animation, so I am going to pass this time, um, just because I want to keep him honest. I don't think he's in cover four. Okay. And he left him wide open, big mistake. And we just grabbed this for a touchdown because he was in cover three. Or not, cover four. I think he shadowed cover three. He definitely adjusted to cover three. That doesn't get open if it's cover four. So I probably missed this field goal. Um, I really hate lagging connections, but this guy got one, so. I don't know if he has his ethernet. Ethernet uh, cord plugged in, but hopefully he does. Um, so, right here, we got momentum back. We scored. Now, I'm never going to cover four uh, drop ever again. And I want to play hard flats this time. So, 
So if he wants to throw a hard flat, he can. Um, I just gotta make sure I got Ross and... There we go. Dawkins, thank you. Right here. He wants to shift out. Uh, Ramsey is a physical corner. So is Night Train, but... Sometimes I'd be questioning their effort values, if that makes sense. So, right here, I'm trying to lurk this route if he decides to go. Clowney sees Aaron Rodgers running away, takes advantage of that. Um, for some of you guys that think about having your X factors on your safeties. It is good, but I like to have pressure on my opponent. I don't like to give them all day to make a read. So, right there, he made a good read. Fourth down. There we go. Now we're gonna run. Hopefully, return this for six. Um, okay, we got close enough, so we can shoot some clock here. So we're just going to go here, single back wing tight. We're in great position right here. Um, go to I form close. He was on his defensive line, big mistake. So we'll go take that, and most likely he's going to be gone, because I don't see him coming back to this game. Um, I figured him out basically on the first drive that he had, so... Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to see future videos like this, please leave a like and comment down below. Um, and let me know your guys' Madden struggles. Um, what did you like about this year? What do you not like? stuff like that so um yeah thank you so much for watching my channel um stay blessed and stay safe